Tell me the story of the ROTC incident where your boy got into it with, I believe it was Pudding and his boys, and then they end up coming to the school. Yeah, well, they, we all went to Virginia at the same time, man. Me, Pudding and all, you know, I think he might have been a year older than me or something like that. And uh, they was on campus. I, I don't know whether he went to class now, but he was on campus. And I was at ROTC. And me and my me and my my, my battalion. Well, I was a battalion chief. I had I was I was the man. Me and my uh, executive officers. We just walked down the senior square, just minding our own business. And they one of the cats just jumped up and where you pop pop our motherfuckers going? And my uh, my lieutenant, tall brother, about six four, looked like Blake Griffin, red hair, freckles, the whole nine yards. He stuttered a little bit. And oh, he said, shit. "Why why we why 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 we gotta be?" Some Popeye motherfucker. You cold for, for entertaining him, by the way. You cold for that. <laughs> yeah, my boy. I love him to death. And homeboy stole on him. That was all. They got to fight. And the fight didn't last for a hot second. Security guards broke it up. And we didn't think much of it. Okay? A couple of days later, me and my boy was walking through the park between his house and the school. And then the same guys were sitting on the bench. It was just like in a movie, man. Fuck. We can't. There's too many of them. These guys is these guys is killers. They, they don't think about nothing about stabbing somebody or shooting somebody. And just so happened, one of the guys that was there was my neighbor from across the street, who actually ran most of these guys. Okay, his grandmother and my mom went shopping on a regular basis. He could not let me get jumped on and watch it. He knew that. Okay, so he told my guy and his guys go head up. Leave them alone. You can't jump them. Just, yo, I got to go head up. Well, what they didn't know is my boy, Andre, was a, uh, he was training with golden gloves. Oh, he shit. wasn't a champion in that, but he could fight. You know, he didn't look like it, but it, I guess if you were a light-skinned, Blake Griffin cat in concert, you got to learn how to fight because you've been fighting for a long, and stuttering, you've been fighting for a long time. <laughs> they got to fighting, and my boy, did much better than he should have against a so-called gangster. A boy should have took, if he took a dive, it would have been all right, but he didn't take no dive. He put hands on him. I ain't going to say he beat him up. I never tell that lie where he beat him up, but he got too many good shots in for a Popeye motherfucker, okay? <laughs> and the next day we go to school, and they, they, we left. They, the, my boy stopped the fight. They clowned it. Oh, he, you know, he did this, he did that. I forgot the word. Well, I uh, I forgot the word uh, they called it uh, back in the day. Uh, uh, damn it, I, I keep it's coming with it. Well, anyway, he, he did this, he did that. Okay. And next day, uh, one of the girls who was in my, my homeroom class said, I don't know what happened. And she she told us the whole, told me the whole situation. I don't know what happened at Enterprise Park yesterday. But whatever y'all did, Piru, the Piru boys, said they killing everything in the ROTC uniform. And she lived on Pyro, so she knew. Damn. I tell you what, baby, I got you. I will see you never because I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn in my uniform. <laughs> I, hit, I turned in my shit. I hit the fence and I never went back to school again. And sure enough, they beat niggas' ass all day in, uh, in, in Centennial. Damn. And it, was, it was one of them situations for me, man. It was so stupid while we was fighting. I had to make a decision, man, because one thing, one thing about so-called gangsters, they don't take L's. Okay, mm -hmm. if you beat them, they come back, and we wouldn't fighting over nothing, man. It wouldn't worth me killing nobody or getting killed over. So I just left it alone, man. You know, and I saw all them guys later in life in, at the grocery store. We all shopped at the same store, and when you saw them by themselves, they weren't the same tough dude. Mm -hmm. They were they were not the same tough dude, man. In fact, they stopped. Look, oh shit, he got me this time. No, I ain't got you. Go on about your business, man. They miss me. I ain't tripping. Okay? But remember, I could have got you. Mm -hmm. And again, most of these guys are dead. I mean, my boys, we still do our thing, man. So, yeah. you know, it, it all, it all, like I tell anybody, you need youngsters, it all depends on what's important to you, man. All them, if, if you like breathing and freedom, you might want to rethink your position on some of this bullshit. Mm. I've always enjoyed my freedom, and I've got a good thing. I love breathing. So, oh, you know. You know I choose to make decisions that most people don't. 
that's the perfect way to end it because that's what my channel is all about, Dusty Vision TV. People ask me all the time why I started this, why I, you know, interview, you know, um, not only um, hip hop artists, but uh, you know, I, I the true crime gang genre, and and mainly OGs and people who've been through it and spent 15, 20 years in prison and been shot seven, eight times and things like that. The reason why I interview these people is for these youngsters who think is is this the life I you know I, I really want to live you know what I'm saying and, and for Alonzo to say he loves breathing and he loves his freedom I don't think we could invent the show any better than that um one more time Alonzo where can everybody find you my man NWA stories with Alonzo on YouTube real Alonzo NWA also man uh, I got the t-shirts for hood piece I got the yard signs uh, I'm, uh, Hood Peace is being launched immediately, being launched as we speak. I'm doing a press release right now. Uh, we're starting in Compton. Um, I, 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 we have a fundraiser. We got a yard sign, a T-shirt for 40 bucks. Uh, anybody that's interested in supporting the Hood Peace, do it for the kids. Yes. Because Hood Life, Hood Peace, because Hood Lives Matter. Yes, okay. I've and been I've been promoting my- Hood Peace big time on my show as well. Um, everybody knows that's actually the 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 um, thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Um, okay. Hood Peace is something that we're you know Alonzo is really trying to push, and I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to try to get OGs involved and, and try to see if if we can do our part. You know what I'm saying? Because Thank we're you, killing man, each, we're, we're killing each other out there. Not we as in you know gangsters but us as black people and latinos we're killing each other out there like animals and and before we know it we're going to turn around and there's not going to be any more left of us real talk man look the 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 candle of black lives are burning on both ends but one end is burning faster than the other speak on okay it's burning at both ends but one end is burning faster than the other Mm. okay we, you, you know how many cops, we know there was a hundred some people that was killed at LAPD mm-hmm. last year. How many thousands of brothers got killed by brothers last year? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's mm-hmm. the elephant in the room nobody wants to talk about. Yeah. And, you know, people want to act like it's a part of the culture. What culture is this that kills their own, man? Mm-hmm. What culture is this that kills their own? Especially by the bottom. We're going to need all the soldiers. We might need all the soldiers we can get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to need every every able bodied man if, this, if, if, uh, if these. White supremacists have it their way. Okay, yep. we gonna need everybody, every able-bodied man, and stand you know, stand up I and got, stand down, Black hey America. Man, Real come talk, come on, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hoping for none of that. I hope everything goes smooth. Yeah, but yeah, same. You know, how how can I fight one enemy? And I gotta look over my shoulder at the guy behind, the mm. guy next to me gonna shoot me too. Come on, man. Mm. Come on. And when you talk to brothers that's been in jail, they tell you all the time, oh man. In jail, ain't no ain't none of that shit right there. Everybody represents us, but you know, well, we know all we got is each other. At the end but of the day, we're that's black. All we got, that's all we got out here. Mm-hmm. Mm. And Latinos and the, and the black get together against the white boys in prison. Okay, mm-hmm. everybody got their everybody got their their section. I don't know. I put it right here. I don't know. I, I know what I heard. I don't know enough about it to speak on it like I like I like to. But I, and I'm not trying to learn either. But mm-hmm. I know I I do enough talking to brothers. One of my one of my other jobs or my other um, community efforts, I work with a lot of brothers that are coming home from prison, and nobody they always tell me two things: in jail, they don't trip on that crippling blood stuff. The brothers don't, mm-hmm. okay. And then also, and I ask them, would you do it again? Hundred ninety nine point nine percent says. Hell no. That's it. It I, was not worth it. I ask every OG that I interview at the end of my show. I say, if you could talk to a, a 10-year-old you who was just thinking about getting that gang life, what would you tell them? And most of the time, they want, literally 100%. Not one has – I've done 50 interviews with OGs, and not one has ever said, yeah, keep doing that shit, nigga, do that shit. Nope. Every last one has said, right. don't do it. Mm, that's deep, deep shit, Alonzo. It's always a pleasure, homeboy. I'm gonna post this on my channel as well as yours, uh, if you're cool with that. And you got it, uh, Doug. Yeah, it. let's make sure me and you get together for another. Uh, uh, oh video yeah, so we can, we we can post on your show. We gotta talk about Cube. Beautiful man. Let's do it. I'll talk to you All soon. Right, All right, peace, man. You got it. Peace later. Always a good time talking with my boy, Alonzo. Dusty Vision TV, man. A little something, something for you out there. Thank you guys so much for telling friends about the show. Dusty Vision TV on Facebook, Dusty Vision TV on Instagram, Dusty Vision TV on YouTube. It is always a pleasure chatting with you guys, smoking with you guys, drinking with you guys. Be safe out there. It's crazy, and it's about to get crazier. 
I'll talk to you soon. Peace. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down. Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses. We gon' mix it with the little honey jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that. So much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate. Let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words. So let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above. Hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower. Me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow down Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play that skin to win this if I was on double bear And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion